you still proud to be vegan one? So that's an interesting question. Uh, I don't know if proud is the right word. Like I didn't kill any humans today when I woke up. Mm -hmm. Am I proud of not killing humans? I would be if everyone else was killing humans. Right, right. I see what you're saying, but like, it's not a, it's not a matter of pride for me. It's a matter of doing the right thing. And so like, am I proud that I do the right thing? I don't know if proud is the right. Am I proud that I'm a voice for the animals? Yes. Mm. Am I proud that I'm doing what I think is necessary uh, to create the vegan world that we know is possible? Yes. Am I proud to be vegan? Not really. Like to me, you know, the veganism is the least we can do. There's nothing to be, I don't get, I don't want to pat on the back for doing the right thing. You know what I mean? So like, well, you were the first person that I actually heard at a, um, at a, at a, I think it was an AV thing. I forget where I heard you say it. I, you were saying it in person, but you said something about uh, you're proud of other people being vegan or not actually, not actually, exp- yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying to, yeah. what, what's, yeah, go ahead. Quiet, baby, quiet. So, <laughs> um, hold on. Speak, speaking up for animals. Quiet, quiet, baby. I'm speaking on your behalf. okay no actually it's the opposite like um i always say that if somebody tells me that they went vegan i actually tell them i'm like you know what and and i explain to them i'm like you know that's not i'm not proud that you went vegan i'm happy that you went vegan i'm not proud and you don't get a pat on the back for going vegan because you don't get a pat on the back for doing the right thing you know i said i'm glad you made the connection i'm glad that somehow through your life experience you, you got made there. a connection and, and went vegan. But it's, to me, it's not about, I'm not proud that they went vegan. I'm not proud that my mom went vegan or my dad. I'm not proud that others went vegan. I'm happy they went vegan. I'm happy that they made the connection. If but that there's makes one sense. more step, but there's one more step. I, how do you get, how do you get the pride? How do you get Juan and, Juan and Dar to be proud of you? <laughs> um, well, you become a voice for the animals. There you go. And you say, yeah. Hey, how can I utilize my skill sets, my talents, my voice to be a voice for the animals. And I'll point them to, for example, AAM. And I'll say, if you don't know anything about activism, if you want to be a voice, they'll hook you up with a mentor. They will, um, you know, guide you. They will help you be the voice that you want to be. And, um, you know, I, I, I recognize it's a free program. It's three months. You sign up with them. They'll, 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 I'm a mentor there. So they'll hear, you'll fill out an application kind of say, you know, what your interests are, what are your strengths, what would you like to do in the animal? Then they'll kind of gather that and say, okay, there's an activist in California who is like, you know, kind of good at these things. Let me pair you up with them. Yeah. And so then they'll pair you up with somebody that, you know, might make sense to pair you up with. And then you have a three month program at your speed, at your leisure, how often you want to meet, et cetera, et cetera. You come up with um, you know, goals and things that you want to do throughout the program. And then in, in those three months, it's a, it's an accelerated form. Like if you don't do that and you want to be an activist, you'll be an activist, but it's going to take you longer to figure out right. some things. It's like and having so a maybe, coach. So for example, yeah, like a coach. So if somebody is paired up with me, I'm going to give them some of the philosophies that I believe in that I learned that took me a long time to learn. So for example, I'll talk about how I thought speak yelling in a restaurant was a waste of time Mm -hmm. so that in case they think that they'll understand immediately and it won't take them two years to figure it out. They'll understand within the three months that, Oh wait, there is a reason and a purpose and a goal. And it is important for that to happen. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I I completely get that, and um and I love AAM, and I'm I, I'm always thinking about becoming a mentor because I've been doing this so long. I feel like I have something to offer. But uh, if, I, but I, I was someone at Vegly, the uh, the vegan dating app. They said this thing that kind of stuck with me, and that when you're looking for a partner romantically, that it's important to find somebody who's proud of you for being who you are. And I think that there's something to that, right? And I think that when you're looking for a partner, you wouldn't date a meat eater. You wouldn't date somebody. You wouldn't share a, uh, I, I always say, I won't, sh- I won't give my house key or share a bank account with a flesh eater. You know what I mean? I wouldn't, or, or, a, or an animal exploiter. Um, so I, I feel like there's something to that, that I'm proud of, of, I'm proud of you for being who you are because the 
because the characters that you've demonstrated, the, the character that you've demonstrated and the characteristics you've demonstrated, I should say, um, are worthy of that. They're worthy of acknowledgement because they're not common. The fact that you stand up for animals and the fact that you simply choose not to exploit them, just that, the mm-hmm. bare minimum is yeah. not common. That's it's yeah. uncommon. So from that perspective, Scott, I would agree with you because it's not common. And I think somebody uh, put it in the comments because it's not common. There is a sense of pride because everybody around you is doing the opposite. And you've decided that I don't care about social pressure. I don't care about being ridiculed and mocked by basically everybody. Right. Mm-hmm. I think I read once that vegans are the most hated group in the world. <laughs> you know? it's like, well, we're no longer on the, we're no longer on the terrorist list. Yeah. So that's pretty good. So I don't care about any of that. And so that I should be proud of because I've gone and done something against societal norms because I know it's the right thing to do. But, but I like the message also that I don't feel pride because it's, it's, it's just doing the right thing. Yeah. But I mean, th- there should be some pride in, in doing the right thing. Like I don't go out and steal. I don't go out and hurt people. I don't go out yeah. and steal, rape or murder. Okay. I'm proud that I'm a good person, you know, but like, yeah, that's- I mean, that's how I feel about like uh, in our, in our, in our current systems of our, this is election year. And there's people saying that they're pro Hitler. There's people saying that it's okay to steal. There's people saying these things and I'm saying, no, that's not okay. Right. Like, there's something to be said about taking maybe not it's like practicing a little dignity you know what i yeah. mean practicing a little integrity 